The third group, we're going to be practicing the overturn loops. Don't forget your in-stroke. Start at the waistline, loop up and over and down along the slant and up again in a light hairline stroke. In-stroke, loop up and over, heavy down, release before you get to the base and come up in a light upstroke. The, L, the first L there is a little bit anemic, so we probably want to go more for the one on the right. B, very similar, um, in stroke, loop up, heavy down, release, come back up and then add the little half underturn or third underturn that we know from the V and the W already. And those Bs are also a little bit on the anemic side. So let's make sure that the uh, exit stroke, like that upstroke, aligns with the curve on the right-hand side because a lot of the times we want to think of our letters inside of these 55-degree angle blocks. So we'll try that again. And the slower you go, the more control you will have over where your pen goes. And that already looks a lot better. The H is going to be the in-stroke, the overturn loop. Again, come out a little bit over and stop, square off that bottom, and then add a compound curve coming all the way up to the waistline again with that hairline exit stroke. I'll try one more time. In-stroke, loop up and over, heavy down, increasingly, this is a dynamic one, and then add the compound curve. The transitions from hairlines to heavier downstrokes, you want to make sure that you always start go getting heavier after the curve, and especially in these um, overturn or underturn loops, you want those to be gradual. Now the K can be made in various different ways. The traditional way has a couple of flicks here. You have one arm flick and another arm flick. We're going to start like the H, just do the un overturn loop and then stop. From the baseline, come up to the waistline and do a little flick downwards and then go back to the baseline and come up to about the center of the X height and do another little flick down like that. Now the variation is using a bowl, also pretty, in stroke and then overturn loop, heavy down, squaring off the bottom and then doing a little loop around and kind of kissing that stem and then coming out again in a compound, well, as a small compound curve. And what you want to look for is that little triangle of space in between those two legs again. So you come up into that loop and come in a little bit and out. If you want to add a little, mm, a little loop in the middle, in the center, that's fine too. The F is potentially the heaviest letter, so we want to make sure that we don't press too hard because the stem is quite long. We do the overturn loop and we extend it below the baseline into maybe two-thirds of the descender space. So you have the in-stroke, you loop over, and you increase your weight as you come down into about two-thirds of the descender space. And then you have a hairline swash coming up from the baseline and a cross stroke at the waistline. A different way of forming your F is to do it in one stroke where you have the overturn and you come all the way down to the descender line and have the underturn and cross the baseline like in the J or the Y character. So come all the way down, release just before the descender line, and come all the way up, cross the stem below the base, and come up in a hairline exit. 